She-Hulk has faced a lot of backlash since the first trailer released, primarily because it looked so bad. For a Marvel show, we expect higher than CW-level CGI, good acting, and fantastic stories, but unfortunately, we're lucky to even get one of those things in a show. And with She-Hulk, people have disliked everything about the trailer, but of course, whenever people criticize a product, the media runs to defend crappy companies, and now journalists are saying people only hate She-Hulk because it's a female-led show. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this CBR.com article because they are the main ones who started this push that, oh, this show is receiving misogynistic and sexist comments and that's the only thing people don't like about the show is the fact that it's female-led. So, it says She-Hulk Attorney at Law is part of the wave of Marvel projects coming to the small screen. Unfortunately, the series has already been met with criticism, the majority of which stems from genuine concern for the project's success. However, there are also those who are bashing it solely because it focuses on a female superhero. Now, right off the bat, I thought that this sounded ridiculous because people like female-led projects. Yes, there are people out out there who instantly question projects thinking maybe it's woke maybe this won't be the previous version of the character we've seen maybe they've amplified her characteristics to make her a strong independent woman and yes that definitely does happen in video games tv shows movies entertainment in general but there's a lot of people who have absolutely no problems with seeing female superhero-led projects. Majority of people don't care if the lead is a male or female. People like seeing females in entertainment. It's as simple as that. It says She-Hulk, attorney at law starring the perfectly cast Tatiana Malzani, is about the life of Jennifer Walters, a single 30-year-old who just wants to be a lawyer, but then due to certain events starting to turn into a green hulking figure, she now has to find her way in the world with the help of her cousin Bruce Banner, who possesses similar abilities. The release of the show's first trailer sparked debate around the character's supposed lack of muscles and about the show's CGI, which fans have been told not to worry about. Yes, we've been told not to worry about it, but at the same time, of course we're going to worry about it. When we see the first official trailer being released, we expect it to be the final product. We expect to see the content we are going to see on screen in just a couple of months. Of course we are going to criticize it if it looks bad and worry about the whole show looking that bad. It says, however, this has not stopped fans from being excited about its release. And like I always say, if I'm not excited for a project and you are, that's awesome and that is perfectly fine. I'm allowed to criticize things if I think they look bad and you're allowed to absolutely love it if you think that it looks amazing. It's just as simple as that. But of course, the media wants to spin this saying there's still so many people excited for this show, but there's a couple of toxic individuals online who are being mean about it. It says amongst these debates, other criticisms have also emerged, which are different because they are steeped in misogyny. Now, I have not seen any misogynistic comments about She-Hulk. I've covered it multiple times on the channel. I've been watching the official trailer to see if it gets ratio to watch the like and dislike numbers. I have seen no misogynistic comments at all. But I was thinking to myself, maybe this quote, journalist here from CBR will actually provide evidence. Maybe I've missed something. Maybe people are being mean on the internet. And then I scrolled down and I realized, nope, it's just another CBR writer. They provide absolutely zero evidence of their claims. They're saying that there's sexist attacks and mean comments and all these awful things. 
and they provide not even one single screenshot of one of the comments that they're talking about. I would have been fine with tweets, with comments on the official trailer uploaded to YouTube, some kind of posts on social media to back up their claims, but they provide absolutely none. From the trailer, She-Hulk Attorney at Law promises to be a fun and lighthearted show geared more towards a female audience. Now, I'm obviously a female. I'm someone who has liked Marvel content in the past. I try to watch every Marvel movie and show that releases so that I'm not behind and so that I can talk about it with my audience. But this trailer provided me absolutely no entertainment. First of all, the CGI looked terrible. I have criticized it a lot here on the channel already. I am not impressed with the lackluster, mediocre CGI. Okay, I can't judge the acting yet because the series isn't out. I'm not going to judge the acting based on a two-minute trailer. But that also could be lacking. It might be amazing. Don't get me wrong. I will give it a chance when it releases. Um... But the trailer, it had a lot of just bad, boring jokes, of course. Uh, the Tinder swiping in the trailer was really dumb, in my opinion. They try to say that, oh my gosh, this trailer was sex positive, and that's what makes the series so appealing to so many. As a person who this show is supposedly being made for, because I'm a woman who likes Marvel content, I don't see anything here that would make me want to watch it. Okay, if I wasn't someone reviewing shows and talking about shows for you guys, I probably wouldn't waste my time with it based on that trailer. This series will be joining other shows on the MCU's roster with women in lead roles, and I, like I've said many times, have absolutely no problems with women being in lead roles. My problems lie in the details, the narratives that they're shoving into these shows, the dialogue, that strong woman power, when the CGI is bad, when the interactions with characters are bad, when the costumes are bad, when the sets look low budget. I'm criticizing everything except except for the fact that it's a woman in a lead role because I don't think that's a problem and most people don't think that that's a problem. And of course, there are a lot of people who have disliked She-Hulk's first trailer going on over to YouTube. It's not being ratioed, but there are so many dislikes. I bet that Marvel is freaking out a little bit. It's got 757,000 likes to 430,000 dislikes. And a lot of people, even the people in the comments who are saying I'm excited for this show, are also criticizing things like the poor CGI. Even the people who are going to watch this, who are excited for this, are saying, yeah, it has problems. The top comment to me is hilarious. Shrek 5 looks great. Everyone's making the Shrek and Fiona jokes. It's just disappointing to me because we see Hulk have such good CGI. Over the years, they've like perfected the Hulk CGI, but with her, it's like they had to completely go back to the drawing board and they didn't carry over those good elements about him, okay? He looks in a way human while also looking like the Hulk and that's why he looks good. With She-Hulk, it just looks like they enlarged her body proportions like her hands and her feet, which are really weird, and they just put this awful green tint over her whole entire body. It just doesn't look good at all. People are saying things like, I love that they play the serious music like this isn't the most ridiculous show ever. She-Hulk was always a funny kind of character, embrace the absurdity. And I think that this could work if they do this. I think that, yeah, She-Hulk was a funny kind of character and this show doesn't have to be super serious. It can make a lot of lighthearted jokes and get away with it. And I think that it could go really well, but the jokes that I saw in the trailer fell flat for me. I hope that those are the only few jokes within the series that kind of fall flat and the humor is better when you see the final product? I doubt it, though. 
Uh, someone pointed out that the reason Hulk still looks good and She-Hulk doesn't is because Hulk was able to have grain and facial hair textures that gave it a bit more realistic looking detail. She-Hulk cannot grow facial hair and doesn't usually have a lot of grain except for during fights when she would get bruised and dirty. This also is the same reason that Thanos looks so good of the natural grain and texture of his unnatural chin. I do um, understand this reasoning for sure. They could make him look a little bit more human because of things like facial hair. For me, one of the giant problems is the wig. Her hair is way too tall. It's got this greenish hue to it. And I think that if they changed her hair and kind of maybe even toned it down like a little bit, made it a little more human looking, a little more realistic, I think that it would probably look better for her look overall. Again, in the comics, she does have very larger than life hair. The larger the hair, the closer to heaven. But I think that they needed something to make her look kind of normal in this series, and that could be one of the major things that could potentially make her look better. I don't know. At this point, I really don't think they're going to do anything about this series. They did decide to upload a new version of the trailer to YouTube um, that has supposedly better CGI. To me, it just looks like the colors were slightly more muted for her, which doesn't make it look much better in my opinion. I don't think that they're actually going to go into the series and change any of the CGI at this point. They've only got a couple of months until it's supposed to release. But of course, like I showed, there are already journalists and people in the media trying to defend this show saying the only thing that people dislike about it is the fact that it's a woman-led series and it's receiving misogynistic and sexist comments even though they showed zero. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.